Today we are going to go over the best quality export settings in FL Studio. Now these don't generally always apply to a full completed song, but for this instance we are going to treat it as such. So head over to File, Export and select WAV. Select the save file destination and name it. That should bring you here when you hit save. So now we have two options. One is mode, which basically asks you, do you want to save the selected pattern or the full song? Now for the tail end of the song, do you want to cut that silence out or leave it in or wrap it? So here we can choose the conversion options or output options we want. You can choose to do a WAV and a FLAC and an MP3 all at once. However, that's going to take some time. So let's do a wave for now. So select 32 bit for the highest bit rate and make sure the final project is in stereo and not mono. Resampling again, we are focused on the highest possible quality, so that's a 512 point sync. Remember, the higher the quality, the more disk space it's going to take up, the lower the quality setting, the more space you will save on your disk, but you will also lose audio quality. Pick your poison. Leave high quality for all plugins and disable maximum polyphony on. Otherwise, you will limit the number of notes that can be played in order to save CPU power. In the miscellaneous section, saving markers is really up to you. Um, trim the PDC silence if you don't want those few split seconds of silence before the song starts. Lastly, Enable your insert and master effects and hit export. Quick and simple, depending on your PC settings, um, those could take a few seconds or a few minutes. Sorry, depending on your PC specifications and your file settings. I hope you found the info helpful and for more videos like these, simply hit subscribe and drop us a like. Lastly, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.